Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Brotherhood of Shadow. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, I am back. I am back in town. If you weren't aware, the first five videos of this series, and in fact, the last video of the Jedi Outcast Let's Play, uh, were all pre recorded. I've been out of town, and if you put a comment in, I have probably responded to it by now. But I, the reason I didn't before is because I had very limited internet access. In fact, I was kind of surprised that I was able to publish a lot of the videos because I had internet for, for some of the days, it was about a minute and a half of internet. I could li literally log into YouTube on my phone and access it through, through Wi-Fi. I had no cell phone service at all. But anyway, I am back and we are ready to continue with this game. We've actually basically finished the first chapter of this. We need to do the Brotherhood of Shadow Solomon's Revenge part next. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that the Steam Summer Sale is going on right now. Today for me is July, uh, July, June 28th, 2017, and through July 5th, both Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Knight 3, Jedi Academy, are on sale on Steam. Now, I'm an Android player. All of, the st all of the videos I have are on Android. Why do I need to even mention this to you? Well, to play both of those games on Android, you need to buy the app from Beloco Games on Amazon for Jedi Knight 2 or Jedi Knight 3. It's just called JK2 Touch or JK3 Touch, but you can't play the game unless you have assets from the PC version of the game. So the app, if say you wanted to play Jedi Academy, if you wanted to play it, on Android, you would have to buy the app from Beloco. It costs $2.85 right now. And you would have to buy the PC version of the game. And the reason I say uh, I bring up the sale is both Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast are $2.49. So you're looking at a grand total of a little over $5, $5.30 or so, to play, say, Jedi Academy uh, between buying the app and buying the PC version of the game. Just wanted to point that out if you're interested in the, either of those games in a mobile format. Now, in the last video, we just escaped the uh, Sith artifact. I guess it wasn't a Sith artifact. It was a Rakatan artifact, prison artifact, and defeated the Brotherhood of Shadow. We now have our very own Shadow right here. She's, you know what? That outfit is a very nice one piece, but it doesn't have the best stats. It gives her plus one to all of the basic stats, but we're gonna go ahead and get, oh, you know what? Would she look good with the Mandalorian? Oh, she could wear Jedi. She could wear Revan's robe. Oh, that's kind of cool. How does she look with this? Oh, oh, the yellow and the blue. Well, uh, let's see how this looks. Not that great. Not that great. You know, it's really, it's more important, um, you know, how you look is far more important than, uh, than the stat. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Wow, we, we're not looking fantastic here. Maybe the blue. Oh! Didn't I have... No, see, it's it's been about a week for me, so I don't really... I think we're good. I think we're good with this. Let's give her some other things. I don't really remember a lot of what we were doing, except for that we won, and that is awesome. Okay, so none of this is good. This is all for light side or people with armor. Saves will plus two. We'll we'll do that. And then the Achani shield can't use those. Oh, she has. Oh, I I think I might have. No, I did not do anything with her lightsaber. Of course not. We haven't been to the Ebon Hawk. So, yeah, she's good for now. I myself am wearing. You know what? We are gonna we're gonna use this. We're gonna wear this. No, we don't want our lightsaber. We want to go back to the Even Star of Blue Dawn because it's fantastic. Yep, we're good. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so now we need to talk to the mechanic, and then I think we're done. What will you do now? And what is your name? 
Umba Batu Kochi, Tong Nong Bong Chang Yung Yang, Tong Katok Smack Delia, Yatuka Uluan Kinkun Naba Murira, Rachikun, Mucha Shak Pampa. Mechanic, very funny. Uh, so your mechanic, the mechanic. La Boda Ni Winky Smack Toma, Wana Kun Bes Ching Pama Murira, Tok Ching Bang Non Kick. Okay, let's uh let's get out of here. La Boda Ni Winky Smack Toma. All right, uh, the end. So we're moving on. Now, you know what? I do need to level her up before we go back to the Ebon Hawk. Level three. Oh, she's got a ways to go. Okay, let's do this real quick. What do we want for her? More wisdom, obviously. And then, what am I weakest at? Oh, security? No. No, I'm good at security. Demolitions? You know what? Let's dump it all in this. Computers. That sounds... Good. Okay, so she's evil. So we want... What do we want for her? Speed might be good. I have not even thought the first bit about the build. Do we want to give her the lightning? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we do. What is she, a sentinel? Okay, she's a sentinel just like me. Uh, no, no, no. We're not doing awareness. Uh, ooh, tree injury might actually be a good idea. Uh, okay. I'm going to do this for a second, guys, and then when I'm done, I'll cut back. Okay, I think we're done. Let me show you real quick what we've got. I've got her 19 points in computer use, a little demolition, uh, quite a bit of awareness. There was just nowhere else to put the points and 19 points in tree injury. Her powers are pretty awesome. I went with speed, droid, a little bit of the choke and kill, uh, not kill, uh, wound and choke, and then kill would be the, the last one. And we also went with plague. She's only level 16, so she doesn't have the force storm or in fact, I am really excited to try something I've never done. If we get her to level 18, we can get Death Field, uh, which is the next step after Drain Life. I've never used that before. Yes. I normally play too good a character. And you know what? I didn't show you her. Here we go. Her feats. Uh, we She does have a double-bladed lightsaber, so we went with that and the flurry. I also gave her just a little bit of toughness, and that was it. As a sentinel, you don't get a ton, a ton of those things. Oh, we also have Damon Drexler's mask. I want to see what this looks like real quick. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, it just doesn't have the same feel, does it? What What does it do? Immunity to mind affecting will plus five. Charisma plus two. Really, charisma plus two with that mask. This gives us immunity to mind affecting plus a little regeneration plus some uh, some other traits. Oh, wait, let's get that back on. There we go. Much better. Now we need to head back to the ship and get out of here to trigger the next part of the mod. Okay, I, I have some questions. Okay, I have some questions. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So she does that basically until you go back to the Ebon Hawk and trigger the rest of the stuff. You can't really break out of the mod and like run to another planet. Uh, she just sort of annoys you into going back to the ship and doing what she wants. All right, let's head back inside. Dong abuk shami no no. Okay, I think this is that part where the voice acting really starts to hurt us in Android. There is voice acting in this mod, English voice acting, not just everybody speaking in the alien, uh, in their alien language. But since sound for files work differently in Android than they do on PC, they won't work for us. So that's going to be an issue moving forward and just something that we have to deal with. We're going this way? In here? No. Nobody's in here. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was um that guy's arm from this angle. Anyway, let's keep looking. Nobody's around, and it's all very creepy looking. Back here? Nothing back here. And we go back where we started. No. Nothing. What have I missed? Hmm. I can't, I can't go out of the ship. I kind of forgot what to do. I thought I just had to go back here. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. And so at last you have come. Okay, now we're on the ship. Okay, so it's just us. The first thing I want to do is go in here and fix up... Yeah, she's got the purple double-bladed lightsaber. Oh, can I not upgrade you? I can't upgrade it. It doesn't... When I press A, nothing happens. Can I... Yeah, I can upgrade you. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. I guess we won't do that. Let's go talk to Shadow. I believe she's up front. Yeah, let's chat. Never mind Karth. Who is him? Well, why did you bring it up? What could it mean? 
Fang a book shah um nag nong. Kin kun shin shin kin. Nikin kun na bule mule raji kun. Chuni yun ni jiji. Watawama muli ri. Kin kun shopeshwa. No ba mule raji. Jone yuturi yanchi. What could have caused it? Mucha shakapaga. Ye ki kun no ba mula draki chi chon. Watawama muli ri. Kin kun shope. We'll go to trap. We'll travel to Korriban as soon as we're able to. I, I think... Okay, so I guess we could go see some other planets if we really wanted to. Not that I want to. But I think she just keeps bringing it up as, uh, as you go along. So anyway, we're going to go straight to Korriban and, and deal with this mystery. I think we can talk to her again. Now that we're on Korriban... Oh, let's talk about our companions. Okay, so... Let's talk about Jolie. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tongki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chu china pala mule tongki pa non tontek tu ni cha chon kun ne mule rabast. So she's under the impression that we're still totally dark side and aren't loyal to our companions at all. So she's got a very good dark side perspective oh oh i can't i can't wait to see what she thinks of mission shagji kina lorcha watamwana kin kun shi shi kin ni kin kun ban mula raji kun wama kun best ching pala mule tune rana nu prata don mok hao dang ya fokin cha chiska to punta kakaspaka ban no oto oh well then tell me what you think of zalbar tangabun shan om nang Wanga kun bis kin ba mula ra choni yun tun jiji ida dwana tanga bok sha um nag nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni ji let's uh, that's all oh kin oh no no that's not actually all i want to talk to you kopa? about some stuff hakuji kopa jin no mula ra kampyak who are you before you became my shadow? Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes chi pala mulek tonki pa na nonek. Tu nik ton chu chun ke nemole. Then it is my will that you answer my question. Who are you before you became my shadow? China pala mule tonki pa non tontek. Dunni cha chon kun tanga bok sha um nag nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni ji ji alduana kava vol pa muli kumana shag ji kina lord cha watamwana kin kun shi shi kin ni kin kun ban mula raji kun Wama kun pes ching pala mule tune rana nu prata donko search tanga bok sha um nag nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni 
Gigi and Genchopa Chawi Tichot Wiz Lun Kun. What to Yama Kama won a henak neck? Bugra shock Kunti Chiwa Unchawa Dong Abuk Shami no nok. Kipuna Nabon Sha Kava Dumpak. Because the Jedi were not practicing what they preached? Kipuna Bona Nakichu Kimba Mule Radwana Dong Kimba no Kudnok neck. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana pokon. Bona na kachu. Kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra. Kakin chak noa gawa bakon. Donk kiba nukunek. Tanga bok sha um nagnong. Chachik hatom mulaka. Wata yumaka wamahona neck. A shanty to unumuni patoka. Rundi e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku Yuma Wama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Chisi. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon, donk kiba nukunek, tanga bok sha um nagnong, mucha shakapaka, yi ki kun no ba mula dra ki chi chon. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak.
Okay, here we go. Jedi Knights of Dan Tween, I have called upon you to aid the Galactic Republic in its time of great need. And you, my friends, have answered that call. The Mandalorian threat has grown beyond the Republic's ability to control. No longer are these enemies the poorly equipped, disorganized rabble of old. They are now a very real threat to galactic peace and stability. Or, the fires of the Mandalorian Wars are spreading every passing day. Heralds a new wave of tragedy, each deepening an already grave wound inflicted upon the Galactic Republic. I like the first one. I have no doubts that each of you have heard tales of the horrors inflicted upon the peoples of the Outer Rim by the Mandalorians. The innocent peoples of the Outer Rim are being purged from existence by the Mandalorian tyranny. Again, I like the first one. On Soroko, where entire cities were wiped off the face of the planet by nuclear weapons. On Onderon, where the Mandalorians swarmed the great walled city of Isis, leaving a once proud city in ruins. On Golgotha 7 where many of the native cities were burned to cinders and the fleeing populace hunted down for sport, like Kinrath. Oh, uh, we'll go with the third one. On Terrace, where a Mandalorian occupation has driven a once prosperous city to the brink of total collapse. On Eridonia, where basilisk war droids rain down from the sky like meteorites, leaving a wave of destruction and death in their wake. On Navarro, where a civilization's entire cultural heritage was destroyed, replaced with Mandalorian War Forges. I like the Iridonia one, because that's one of those stories that Candorus told us about, I believe. And of course, Cathar. Yes, the rumors are unfortunately true. The Mandalorians have brought the entire Cathar species to the brink of extinction. Although terrible, these atrocities serve as, a mere, as merely a taste of what is to come should the Mandalorians be victorious. And do not doubt, my fellow Jedi, that should we maintain this stance of inaction, they will be victorious. Or the near extinction, extinction of the Cathar peoples serve to exhibit what lengths the Mandalorians will go to force their destructive ideology upon the peoples of this galaxy and to achieve a total and lasting supremacy. Let's go with the second one. The Republic needs our help. The peoples of the Outer Rim need our help. If we continue to deny them the support they gravely need, we will have failed them, but more importantly, we will have failed ourselves. Or how much longer can the Jedi Order maintain the stance of inaction when the consequences of a Republic defeat grow ever graver every day? I like, you know, the top ones seem to be more about the people and the bottom ones generally seem to be more about the Republic. And we're not really about the Republic. So let's go with the top one. Although it does start with the Republic needs our help. You must, you must each of you ask yourselves what has become of the Jedi Order when it abandons its allies in their line of, in their time of great need. What has become of the Jedi Order when it allows the Outer Rim to be conquered and what has become of the Jedi Order when it allows the Mandalorians to butcher the peoples of the Outer Rim without restraint. Now, I think there's going to be like either crying or booing or cheering in the background with this. But again, that's going to be audio files that aren't usable on the Android version of this mod. The answer is simple. It is no longer the Jedi Order that for a thousand generations has proudly served as a guardian of peace and justice. And so the burden falls to we, the Revenchists. To do what our Jedi Council will not, we must join with our Republic brethren and defeat the Mandalorian aggressors once and for all. It cannot be disputed that their decision to stay out of the war is one that will bring a lasting security to the Jedi Order, yet at a cost of the galaxy around them. The Council acts to preserve the Jedi Order, yet a Jedi Order that can stand by and do nothing whilst innocent innocents are being slaughtered is not a Jedi Order that is worth preserving. Oh, I like the second one. 
Always must the Jedi Order serve the people, and if it is the decision of the Council to no longer uphold that commitment, then that Council no longer acts in the best interest of the Jedi Order. Or the Republic is faltering its people's disillusion, we the Jedi Order must so lead by example and revitalize a failing war effort through our leadership and commitment to victory. Again, I like the, the first one. It's more about the people. I've traveled this galaxy and have seen the places ravaged by the Mandalorian war machine with my own eyes. Now I have returned. I call upon you, all fellow Jedi. I call upon you to do what... To do as... What, as a Jedi, is in your nature to do? I don't... I, that's a hard sentence. Uh, the right thing. Do the right thing. Who of you will recommit yourselves to the defense of the weak from the tyranny and oppression that our council has chosen to ignore? Who of you will join me? Come, my fellow Jedi. We shall know no boundaries. We shall show no hesitation. We shall fight the Mandalorians with all our strength and push them back to whence they came. Commit yourselves to the Revenchists. And we shall win. What is your name, Jedi? Jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni mina mambo mule ra haku gri kat kota parabola Okay so she's talking in the way that uh, her her adopted people which would be the Achani right the Achani like if you've seen in Kotor 2 with the handmaiden she's a Achani and they they fight to communicate with each other. So that's basically what she's talking about. She doesn't want to really fight. I think we're going to have to wrap things up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll actually fight in the next video. We'll see you soon. Take care.